Hey, dude. How's it going? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching The Big Lebowski. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into a movie that has been on my list for a long time, well before I ever made a YouTube channel, and that is The Big Lebowski. I apologize in advance if you can hear loud noises uh, on the microphone. I have people working in my backyard right now. Um, it's a leaf blowing kind of day. Also, fun fact, my gardener sometimes watches my videos, so. <laughs> Hi, Rodrigo, if you're seeing this. That's such a weird like call out. But when I started doing YouTube videos, like back in the beginning of quarantine and stuff, he, he told me he d discovered my videos because he likes Star Wars. So I don't know if he's going to watch this one, but if he does, hello. I'm really excited to get on into this movie today. I have heard of the dude, obviously. I've seen people dress up as Jeff Bridges' character on Halloween at certain events. I'm well aware that the dude likes white Russians. There's obviously some things I know about this movie, but in terms of like plot, in terms of characters besides the dude, I really know nothing. I'm just really excited to see what this character is like and also to see another movie by the Coen brothers because what little I have seen from the Coen brothers, I've ended up loving. No Country for Old Men is a great movie. I did see Fargo many years ago. I mean, it was probably only three years ago or so right now. But I remember when I saw Fargo, I loved that movie. It was so good. And I feel like a lot of interesting questions are always raised in the Coen Brothers movies and not necessarily with characters who you always look up to. Like a lot of times the characters are really flawed and messy. And I've heard this movie is semi-comedic and might have some comedic lines. So I always look forward to funny stuff. I'm excited for that. And I'm just ready to dive on into a classic. I feel like this movie has just been in the back of my mind for so long and I've kept forgetting to watch it. And finally, it won a poll over on Patreon. Actually, this might've been the first poll that I really put it in over on Patreon. And I'm just really happy that it won. For those of y'all that don't know, I do have a Patreon page. I always link it in the description bar down below if you wanna vote in polls and help me decide what I watch next, as well as catch my full length watch along style reactions to everything we do my Patreon would be a good place to check out. Also make sure to check out the other platforms down below, my other channel, Natty Gold, where I do live streams and gameplay videos and react content that isn't focused on movies and TV shows, as well as my TikTok, where I've been posting more shorts lately. There's a whole host of places you can see my annoying face, if that is your thing. If it's not, that's okay. And that's all I really have to say. I'm just excited to hop on into this movie and finally see what it's like, what it has in store, um, and to see how many white Russians Jeff Bridges drinks in this movie. Because I know that the dude loves white Russians. I think he also might like bowling. I think there might be bowling in this movie, but <laughs> that's all I know about the character. So I'm very, I'm very excited. So without any further ado, I think it's time to grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the Big Lebowski. Are we starting in the desert? Uh, way out west there was this. No Country for Old Men also started in the west. A fellow by the name of Jeff. Jeff. That's funny because it's Jeff Bridges. This Lebowski, he called himself the, the dude. dude. <laughs> wow, this is another movie started with narration from a different character's point of view. Are we in LA? It's LA, right? They call Los Angeles the city. Los Angeles. <laughs> The tumbleweed going down the high, the bridge over the highway. <laughs> On the beach! <laughs> so f funny. <laughs> I actually have seen a tumbleweed roll across a road in LA before. Not near the beach. Ralph's! Hmm. I love Ralph's. He's the man for his time and place. Uh huh. He fits right in there. Uh huh. Does he fit right in in Los Angeles? In Los Angeles. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> no. No, no! He's gonna drink it here in the store and he's also drinking half and half. I done introduced him enough. He's writing a check for 67 cents. <gasps> this looks like the same place where Pulp Fiction was filmed, like Mia Wallace's apartment, is it? It looks like the same hall, like entryway. I have to know, I'm gonna have to look that up. <gasps> ah! <laughs> 
Oh, God, the milk that he just paid 67 cents for. Where's the money, Lebowski? Oh, he owes some guys money. It's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. Oh, don't. That's hysterical. It's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. That's so funny. Ever thus the dead beats Lebowski. Is he gonna piss on his carpet? Lovely. A bowling ball. What is this? Obviously, you're not a golfer. Ah, he just puts the shades on and... Oh, come on! What the f Isn't this guy supposed to be a millionaire? He just pissed on his rug and broke his bathroom tile. What if he is a millionaire and he just lives really cheaply? Some millionaires are like that. Although he did just have to write a check for 67 cents. Steve! Steve is great. Woo! I love him. Were you listening to the dude's story? I was bowling. <laughs> you have no frame of reference here, Donnie. You're like a child who wanders into Walter, the middle of a movie and what, wants to know- Walter, what- <laughs> He's so mean. We're talking about unchecked aggression here. What the f is he talking My about? My rug. Forget Look. it, Donnie, you're out of your element. Forget it, you're out of your element. We could probably bring him into the conversation real quick. Chinaman is not the issue here, dude. Also, dude, Chinaman is not the preferred nomenclature. I was gonna say. Asian they... American, please. <laughs> Wow, look at him! <laughs> Walter, he peed on my rug! He peed on the dude's rug. Donnie, you're out of your- Donnie, stay out of it! <laughs> that rug really tied the room together, did it not? Say, This guy peed on it. Donnie, please. Listen, Donnie figured it out quickly. Let him, let him pitch it. <laughs> His name is Lebowski? That's your name, dude. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, please, please. That is the key to the city of Pasadena, which means- Oh! It's probably a symbolic key. Oh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. What can I do for you, sir? This rug I have, it really tied the room together. Uh, you told Brandt on the phone, he told me. Wow, I'm surprised he was able to reach him quickly. Oh, so you know that they were trying to piss on your rug. Did I urinate on your rug? He's not gonna buy him a new rug. I mean, your wife owes my- My wife is not the issue here. She is the issue. I think he doesn't like his wife. The bums will always lose! Do you hear me, Lebowski? Wow, he cares so much. The old man told me to take any rug in the house. Well, enjoy. Ah! <laughs> That's f***ing hysterical. Is that his wife, or is that it's a different girl? She loves the color green, huh? Lana. Oh, Tara Reed. Is that his daughter? That must be his daughter. Our guest has to be getting along, Mrs. Lebowski. Oh. Oh, it is his wife. Funny. I'll suck your $1,000. No wonder he hates his wife. Why is he married to her? Uh, I'm just gonna go find a cash machine. <laughs> Uh-oh. I wouldn't get with her. Remember those men that came after you? She's trouble. Over the line! Huh? I'm sorry, Smokey. You were over the line. That's a foul. Aww. He loves the rules, this guy. Smokey, my friend. <gasps> You're entering a world of pain, Walter. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. They're calling the cops, man. Put the piece away. Market zero! Walter. Walter? You think I'm f***ing around there, market zero! Jesus Christ. He's insane. The league game smoke. He's got a lot of anger issues he's got to work on. I hope you're not avoiding this call because of the rug. <laughs> Which I assure you is not a problem. Uh-huh. We need your help and, uh... We need your help. Mr. Lebowski's in seclusion in the West Wing. Seclusion? Is he dying? Sorry. Bunny Lebowski. She is the light of my life. Really? Are you surprised at my tears, sir? Yeah. Strong men also cry. <laughs> <laughs> I love Philip Seymour Hoffman, man. He's so good. It is a ransom note. Oh. It's probably a fake ransom note. I bet she, she wrote it herself to get m more money. Mr. Lebowski is prepared to make a generous offer to you to act as courier once we get instructions for the money. Why would you, why would you, why him? Yeah. He thinks the carpet business did this? Well, dude, we just don't know. Well, dude, yeah. Good, he got it. He knows to call him dude. <laughs> I'm holding that close up on them. It's so funny. I, I love, oh God. This movie is great. It's so funny. 20 grand, man. And of course, I still get to keep the rug. Just for making the handle? Yeah. Oh, I told him uh, if it was during league play. What's during league play? Life uh, does not stop and start you know, at your convenience, you I, miserable uh, piece of sh 
Donnie, you gotta find better friends. You know, it's all pretty harmless. She probably kidnapped herself. That's what I was thinking too, but maybe, maybe, maybe they really did do this. It's gotta be an actual serious situation that he's way over his head, in way over his head for. I see you roll your way into the semis. I love that the song is still going on. Liam and me, we're gonna f you up. Ah! Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. I've heard people have commented that on Patreon when this movie won. That's just like your opinion. He's like meditating to the sound of bowling pins and he really loves bowling. Oh, the song is back. La, 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 la. He's on a magic carpet ride. What is happening? They have a crazy dream. The beeper. The rug's gone. <gasps> they took the rug. No. They just broke in and took his rug? Are you kidding me? Why can't he just keep the rug? What happened to your jaw? Oh, nothing. He's not gonna tell him what happened? Here's the money and the phone. The phone. They're placing so much trust in this guy that he's not just gonna run with the money. Walter, I'm sure there's a reason you brought your dirty undies, man. That's right, dude, the weight. The ringer cannot look empty. Walter, what the f are you thinking, man? I'm gonna try to keep the money? He, yeah. My point, dude, is why should we settle for 20 grand when we can keep the entire million? Am I wrong? Yes. Yeah, you are wrong. Although Walter's terrifying. Walter's got anger issues. You really shouldn't have brought him. When you cross the bridge, you throw the bag from the left window of the moving car. Oh, yeah. You're being, yep. You gotta throw it. Okay, dude, the bridge is coming up. Give me the ringer, chop. No. Walter's gonna f it up. Hey! Oh, there goes the ringer! Why don't you just throw the other one, too? Hey, Uzi. Lucy! Dude, the thing goes rolling out of here, Nate. Did you? It's fucked up here! The gun took out their own car. Oh my God, they're so stupid. They're so stupid. <laughs> you moron, Walter. Yep, there they go. Dude, you're so dumb for bringing him along. Who's sitting on a million dollars, am I wrong? Walter. Who's got a million dollars sitting in the trunk of our car? Shh. Was their car broken into? Is the car gone? <clears throat> it was parked in a handicap zone. Perhaps they towed it. No, it's been stolen. Well, certainly that's a possibility, dude. You guys are morons for not bringing the money in with you. Uh, my briefcase. In the briefcase? You moving the reed weed around on the plate with the bowling pin bowl. Call when you get home and I'll send a car for you. My name is Maud Lebowski. I'm the woman who took your rug. Whoa. Maud? I guess we can close the file on that one. Well, these cops are actually like, that one cop at least is like, seems very nice, like he's listening. <laughs> I wouldn't expect that normally. Oh, she's one of those. She's one of those artists. Okay, all right. Let's get down to cases. My father told me he agreed to let you have- Oh, this is his daughter. That's so funny. His wife is way younger than his daughter. Oh, the rug. I see. The rug was supposed to be hers. Little matter to me that this woman chose to pursue a career in pornography, nor that she uh -huh. has been banging Jackie Treehorn, to use the parlance of our times. However- Why does she have this accent? Did her father have this accent? I, I don't- So I'm proposing that you try to recover the money from the people you delivered it to. Well, I could do that. This is so wild. A hundred thousand, yes. Wow. All he has to do is find a stolen car. So he says, my wife's a pain in the ass. She's always busting my friggin' agates. Oh, he, she got a driver for him. He, I feel like, I don't think, where his sandals like clear before? I just noticed that. When did he start <gasps> oh, the f Hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here, huh? He's got a white Russian. There's a beverage here. Start talking and talk fast, you lousy bum. We've been frantically trying to reach you, dude. Where is my goddamn money, you bum? We dropped off the damn money. We? Why? The royal we. The royal we. You know, it, 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 this could be a, a, a lot more uh, 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 complex. I mean, it's not. <laughs> he really was searching for that word. You know? What in God's holy name are you blathering about? <laughs> Brant's face. He's like so uncomfy. We received this this morning. 
since you have unrepentedly betrayed my trust. What's in the gauze? Is it a finger? The green, is it like a green toe? By God, sir, I will not abide another toe. That wasn't her toe, dude. Yes, it was. I do know that nothing about it indicates- Yeah, the nail a... polish, Walter. Fine, dude. Yeah, the nail polish. It's a detail that people wouldn't think about. It's a very specific shade of green. Mr. Lebowski, this is duty officer Rollbug of the LAPD. Oh, hi. Wow, that's impressive. Hey, hey, this is a private residence, man. Uh oh. They're gonna put the ferret in the water. I knew it. I knew it. I could tell. The poor marmot. He believes in nothing. He believes in nothing, Labowski, nothing. And tomorrow we come back and we cut off your Johnson. Excuse me? I said we cut off your Johnson! Oh, that guy. F what was he the villain in? Oh my god, I recognize him too. Now that is just ridiculous, dude. No one's going to cut your off. Thank you, Walter. Not if I have anything to say about it. Walter, you can't do jack I love this cardigan he's wearing. I could be sitting here with just pee stains on my rug. Mm-hmm, you could be. But you listened to Walter. All you needed to do was not listen to Walter, and none of this movie would have happened. I don't need your sympathy, man. I need my Johnson. What do you need that for, dude? You have got to buck up, man. Donnie, what do you mean? the tournament. you, Walter. Oh. the tournament? Oh, he didn't even care that you said you. He just cares about the the tournament. Some music from the beginning of the movie. Someone sitting next to him now? Who is it? You got a good sarsaparilla. The narrator! Oh my god. It's his song. You have to use so many cuss words. Oh. Uh. The f*** are you talking about? <laughs> Take her easy, dude. What? Yeah, what? thanks, ma'am. He's gonna wander off now? He just came in to check in <laughs> with the protagonist. What the f You got a D. What name is that say? Use a dictionary. Spelling. Who is he? I couldn't read that name, right? Weird. He lives in North Hollywood on Radford near the In N Out Burger. Oh, the In N Out Burger's on Camrose. Near the In N Out Burger. Those are good Dude, burgers, Walter. Shut the f up, Donnie. <sighs> Embrace the kid, should be a pushover. We'll be near the In N Out Burger. Shut the f up, Donnie. Donnie's just always a few steps behind. How funny would it be if just near the end of the movie, Donnie says one thing that's really smart? Some burgers, <laughs> some beers, a few laughs. They don't sell beers at the In N Out, do they? I thought they don't sell beers there. You can get a burger though. I just would love it if all of a sudden Donnie says something really wise that they all hadn't thought of just once in the movie. The kid's already spent all the money, man. No way. Has he? We're hoping it won't be necessary to call the police, but that's up to little Larry here. Larry's not gonna get intimidated, is he? He doesn't look like the type to get intimidated. Oh, that note, that's what gave it away, I see. Look, Larry, have you ever heard of Vietnam? He's gonna use Vietnam for everything. We know that this is your homework. We're gonna cut your off, Larry. You're killing your father, Larry. Oh, he's tough. <laughs> he doesn't break easy. You might want to watch out that front window, Larry. This is what happens when you a stranger in the ass. Oh no. Oh no. Is he gonna go destroy the car? It's probably not his car. What are you doing? No, no, no. You don't know that it's his car. You see what happens, Larry? You don't know that it's his car. It's probably the house across the street's car. What the f are you doing, man? Stop oh, it! Hey, man. I just bought the f out last week! Oh, come on, man. I'll kill you! Come no, on, man. No, hey, you. hey, that's not his head! Ah! No, no. God damn it! No. Walter really just be causing all problems, man. It's all Walter's fault. His unchecked anger. You know, Walter, you're right. There is an unspoken message here. It's f you. Leave me the f alone. 
Yeah, I'll be at practice. Ah! Leave me the f alone, but I'll see you at practice. Oh, that's it? That's all we have? It opens out. It opens to the outside. Jackie Treehorn wants to see the deadbeat Lebowski. You're not dealing with morons here. You, you, we, I think we are dealing with morons. Oh my God. Where's Bunny? Well, I thought you might know that, man. Why would I? She only ran off to get away from that rather sizable debt to me. Oh. She's been, um... I've heard that kidnapping story, so save it. I know you're mixed up in all this, dude. He doesn't know anything, though. Yeah, all right, man. I mean, you know, there are a lot of, um, facets uh, to this, a lot of interested parties. Um, excuse me. Man, he just keeps getting more and more out of control, this whole thing. Five grand, I'll go out and mingle. Yep, you've been drugged, dude. All the dude ever wanted was his rug back. It's true. All he ever wanted was his rug. Darkness washed over the dude. <gasps> the narrator's back. Oh my god. No. 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 No! They put him in a bowling theme porno, or is that the, that's just the dream he's having from the drugs? Maybe it's just the dream. I panicked. They're wearing bowling pin heads. What the f This is crazy. There's so much going on here. It's like, I'm getting like can-can girl vibe, like French girl vibes, but also like a 50s aesthetic with the tile floor. Oh my God. This is just so funny. Puts her fingers into the, the bowling balls. Oh my God. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, running at him with the scissors. That's a nightmare. Oh, they're all coming after you, buddy. He's waking up running on the road? The cops are chasing him? I don't like your jerk off face. I don't like your jerk off behavior. And I don't like you jerk off. There it is. Oh, Malibu. Okay, we're in Malibu. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. That's honestly so f funny. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. Stay out of Malibu, Lebowski! Oh my god. Ow. Stay out of Malibu, deadbeat! Dude, what the f You don't have a right to do that. That's f***ing ridiculous. He's been through the ringer in this movie. Man, come on. I had a rough night and I hate the f***ing eagles, man. He's gonna pull- he's gonna drop you off. Out of my Out of he did warn you that he was gonna do that. He won't tolerate any eagles hate. What the f She's just driving around in a nice convertible. Does she somehow get the money from his car? Oh, hi, Maud. Maud? Love me. What? What? You know, this is... A very complicated case, Ma. A lot of ins, a lot of outs. Uh, he just keeps saying that. Very close to your father's money. I keep telling you it's the foundation's money. Father doesn't have any. Doesn't have any? At all? No, no, the wealth was all mother's. Wow. No, he helps administer the charities now, and I, I give him a reasonable allowance. She gives him the allowance. Was that yoga? It increases the chances of conception. <coughs> I was wondering why she was doing that. Why do you want to get pregnant? I want a child. From him? I don't want a partner. In fact, I don't want the father to be someone I have to see socially or who have any interest in raising the child himself. You could have asked him. She crazy. Yeah, listen, Walter, I'm at my place. I need you to come pick me up. I can't drive, dude. It's Arab Shabbos. What? Shabbos. It's the night. It's Friday night. We gotta go to Pasadena, man. Come pick me up or I'm off the bowling team. Oh, now he'll come. Bowling is above his religion, for sure. That's his primary religion. Lincoln Berry pancake. What is a Lincoln Berry, Lincoln Berry pancake? The Lincoln Berry is a small evergreen shrub in the Oreo family forest in the Arctic that bears it out for North Oh, it was her toe. She did, because, okay, because I was going to say she did have the toe, but we couldn't see the toenail on her pinky toe, like on Tara Reed's toe before. I get it. I was like, she's clearly not kidnapped. I guess she's not even in on the scheme at all. She just ran away. Jesus. 
What the hell happened? Oh, that's her car. Where are they? Oh, they drove to, oh, his house, I see. Ah! Wow, they just leave the doors unlocked, huh? Dude, she never even kidnapped herself. Who is this gentleman, dude? Who am I? Who is this gentleman, dude? Oh, shut up, Walter. Out of this house now, you bums! Let me tell you something else. I've seen a lot of spinals, dude. And this guy's a fake. A fake? What do you mean? This guy f***ing walks. I've never been more certain of anything in my life. Walter, I, you've been wrong a lot in this movie. Me? Oh, 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 oh. Put him down, man! Yeah, I'll put him down, dude! Oh, you I'm too baby. Walter. Walter, you've once again taken things too far. Oh. Oh, the dog's trying to comfort him. Walter, you just, you just frequently just takes things too far. Oh, the Germans are here. They're burning your car. We want some money, Lobotsky. Yeah, otherwise we kill the girl. You don't have the girl. You don't have the girl, dip We know you never did. They crack immediately the second he calls them other bullshit. She thought we'd been getting million dollars. It's not fair. Not fair. It's not fair. She gave up her toe. So we take some money. You have won. You uh, we call Shadifa. <laughs> oh boy. No, what's mine is mine. Oh come on, Walter. No funny stuff. All right, all right. Walter, just relax. Walter, relax. It's five dollars. It's eighteen dollars. Walter, come on. He's got. He doesn't give a shit. He's too you. crazy. I you. I I Hit the four dollars. Take the four dollars. Oh god, he's gonna bite his ear off. Ew. Anti Semite. <laughs> you anti Semite? Just because he's German. I you. I Shut up! Oh my god, guys! Oh my god, this is insane. We got a man down, dude! Donnie? Oh no. We shot Donnie? There weren't any shots fired. Yeah, no one shot a gun. Huh? It's a heart attack. Oh. Donnie's having a heart attack just from everything happening. No. Are we back at this guy's house, the mansion? Oh. No. You are the bereaved. We're not. Yeah. He died?! We're at a law office?! Donnie died? What the f We have the urn. I assume this is credit card. What kind of f place did he get cremated at? This place is huge. That is our most modestly priced receptacle. God damn it! <laughs> is there a Ralph's around here? A Ralph's? Are you gonna go get a Ralph's bag? Oh, a coffee tin! Oh my god. That's hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. Poor Donnie, he just died like that. In your wisdom, Lord, you took him. As you took so many bright, flowering young men. Don't say it, Nam. At Kaysan, at Londok. Yeah. The best part of waking up is Donnie. Senyaka. Good night, sweet prince. Oh my god. Bowling. Aww. I don't think I've ever seen the way like a bowling alley works. This is kind of cool footage. Sometimes you eat the bar and sometimes, uh, you know. The narrator! Hey, man. How do you do, dude? The narrator! Take it easy, dude. Oh, yeah. I know that you will. Yeah, well, the dude abides. Oh, there it is. Well, that about does her. Wraps her all up. Okay. I didn't like seeing Donnie go. Uh-huh. But then I happen to know that there's a little Lebowski on the way. Oh. Across the sands of time until we... Oh, look at me. I'm <laughs> rambling again. What the f <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's a little orange soda that Donnie used to drink on the counter there. Down, little Susie, take me down. 
This was a funny, uh, definitely a funny movie. I'm not sure I really understand it. Although I think that's kind of the point is like you're putting this character into this movie who really doesn't want to be a part of this wild story. And it just gets so out of hand and so out of hand and so out of hand to the point where you know it's not all going to tie together into this perfect bow at the end. And then it has this really unexpected ending with this character that is like this secondary character that's just kind of there for comedic effect dying. And it just kind of has this anticlimactic ending, but the narrator attempts to tie it all together at the end with like this moral of the story for the audience. But there really isn't like a great moral of the story. It just kind of feels like it's playing into a bunch of different movie tropes in wacky, silly ways. Like the dude is not the type of guy you'd ever envision as being a protagonist. And I think that's what makes this movie so fun. There are a lot of great actors in this movie, a lot of really quotable moments as well. I knew that that was David Thewlis as that random guy that was giggling to himself. I just, I recognize Lupin when I see him, but there were a lot of actors in this cast that I did recognize, but couldn't quite place them. Likewise with Peter Stormare, I recognized him as well, but he, it seems he's been in a lot of stuff that I've seen, like John Wick 2, Armageddon, which is a, a movie that I love, quite frankly. I, I think if you watch Armageddon from the perspective, like it's a comedy, it's freaking brilliant. I love that movie. As well as Fargo, which I haven't seen in a really, really long time, but I did see him in Fargo. Just a great, <laughs> great cast. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman as well, I love him. I mean, just, just a really amazing cast. I think John Goodman did a really good job with his part as well. I think his reversals were hysterical. Um, and I think they did the Vietnam bit just enough times. Like it started out really funny and then it started to get more and more annoying as the movie went on until the eulogy that he did for Donnie when it came back around again because you, you were waiting for him to mention Vietnam. And at that point again, it was funny. So I feel like the writing was really smart for that bit in particular because it, it really had time to grow and develop and start to annoy the audience and then just get to the point where it started to get funny again. <laughs> I also love like the whole idea of just, <laughs> we have so many characters, which I think really ties into the idea that maybe the Coen brothers were trying to kind of make fun of cinema a little bit with this movie. Just dive into all of the different weird cinema tropes and different types of characters you'd see in this kind of world. I think the moment where I really realized like we've got way too much going on besides, you know, after meeting the Germans and <laughs> meeting uh, Maud and those characters. I think you really even realize it when you meet that private detective that's just been tailing him for a completely separate issue. That's just the parents of Tara Reed's character want her back. And actually she's going under a different name and she's got a whole separate alias. And this private detective is like, wow, I really like what you're doing. You know, you're like a private detective too. And the dude's just like, I just want my rug back. Like, I don't care about any of this. So I really kind of enjoy all the moving elements it, you never know what's gonna happen next. But there's also a lot of like cinematic tropes and funny plot elements that you kind of see from other stories and movies that are just kind of thrown into this. It's It feels very much like throwing a bunch of stuff at a wall to like overwhelm the audience that's looking at it. Like you're just throwing everything and trying to make everything stick, but it kind of works in this weird, beautiful, funny way. I think the only reason it works is because we have the narrating character, the narrating figure played by Sam Elliott. I think that's the only reason that you can do everything you're doing in this movie because we have that level of removal and that level of um, breaking the fourth wall. So the audience knows we're watching a movie and it's not like the characters don't all necessarily have to feel real. They can feel like caricatures and they can feel like tropes. Like the cop in Malibu really feels like this heavy handed trope. Everyone just feels so over the top. Honestly, except for the dude, the dude feels like the most grounded, but he doesn't even really want to be a part of what's happening. So I really did enjoy it. And I would like to rewatch it again, maybe trying to pick apart everything that the Coen brothers were going for. Cause right now I just feel very overwhelmed <laughs> with what I just saw. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this, more Coen brothers movies in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.